Hello everybody, welcome back to the cabin, welcome back to Commonwealth. Flipper, you know, we talk about all kinds of different stuff on this show, and then I show you a bunch of stuff that sells, but today I have a fairly serious topic, and it's not going to apply to very many people, but it is going to apply to some. Matter of fact, I got a message from two people this year, one quite a while back, and then this one today about something that I have neglected to do that I'm sure most people do, and I want to discuss it a little bit. Today, but I also have a whole bunch of really cool sales. Looks like 20 things headed out of here. $1,017.20. Let's take a look. We usually have about four sales before we talk about the topic. I think I'm going to have seven today and have a secondary topic, which is things you should not pass up. That a lot of people don't think are worth much money, but this is not one of them. I think most people, if you found something like this, you'd pick it up. It's a vintage, it's Charlotte Hornets, which by the way, Charlotte Hornets is always good. It's If it's vintage Charlotte Hornets, it's almost always worth picking up. You can tell it's vintage made in Korea. Hugo is their mascot, a blue hornet, who knew? And it's just this sweet. I picked this up at the Escape from the Interstate Sale, Highway 21 which I still haven't reviewed on Garage Sale Nation. I need to go do that. And that right there I paid up because I was buying from people who knew what they were doing. I think I paid $10, but it sold for $34 plus shipping. I'm not even sure I can reach. Yeah, I think I can reach this one right here. Let's see here. Barbie Perfume Maker. And we take the time, you know, it takes a little bit of time and effort if you're going to go buy this stuff to make sure that everything's in there double and triple checking and all that stuff to pain and it costs money time is money but you know what it's a good idea to do it this one sold right here for 20 i think 26 dollars plus shipping i'm walking away looking at the next sale and i'm thinking you know what that might be perfect for the shoe box right there the only problem is it can be a little too long i think see that but we'll put one shoe box on it and then another shoe box on it I don't know. I see boxes. I see things like this when I buy them while I'm buying them. And I'm already thinking about how to ship them. So that one's a little too long, but we're going to double up the shoe box. By the way, talking about shipping really quick, I usually do this later in the video. But since I got sidetracked with a little shipping, a thank you to Nathaniel for buying plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table over on CommonwealthPicker.com. And we're going to talk about that topic that I mentioned at the beginning in a second. But think about the numbers that I just mentioned, because it's going to be important when we talk about that topic in a minute. $1,000 in sales today, and that's like less than 2% of the store. Because the sell-through rate is usually around 1% a day or so. It's a little higher. This little coach bag, by the way. You saw me pick it up in a yard sale not too long ago. And I think I paid five bucks for it. And it paid for and it sold for thirty-five dollars. Well shipping. So a little Blu-ray and it's one of my daughter's favorite movies. It is right there. The greatest showman. Got a great soundtrack too, by the way. And my daughter, Reagan, she just absolutely loves that movie. That one sold. Bought this one at the 127 sale with Matt Thrifter Sifter. Ten well, he was with me. Ten dollars plus shipping. That one says repeat buyer. So Sherry, I'm going to give you a thank you, assuming you are a viewer. And this Trans Am sold right here. By the way, if you're new to the channel, it's a great video to Epic Garage Sale Finds. We've been making money off these keychains for a long, long time. My favorite kind of buy right there. That's the Trans Am. Sold for $16. Free ship, but they're super light and super easy. We did have quite a few G.I. Joe sale today. We're going to Cover three of them really quick, add them to the four of them, add them to our total. We've been keeping track of how much money we're going to make on this deal. And then we're going to get into our topic. Three G.I. Joe sales in this first batch right here. This one is like a, I don't even know what they call it. Let me go look. It says Fort America, and it's missing a few things here and there, but still sold for 22 These guys right here, the Crimson Guard. Tomax and Axmot, I think that's it, so it's the reverse, right? And they build them as, like, identical, except for the scar on one of their faces. I think it's this guy right here. I remember these two. I think there's a scar. Yeah, I can see it. You probably can't see it on that video. These sold for pretty good money. I want to say $60 for those two right there. 60 bucks. 
They were sold together. They were born, where were they born? The an island in the Mediterranean. Take your pick. We're going to say Crete, just to be fun. Or maybe Sardinia. Sicily, what do you think? They look Sicilian. They look... I'm going to say Crete. <laughs> Making stuff up. New Jersey for a dog handler here. Mutt. That's pretty cool. And these two sold together. I think these two went to a viewer. Firefly. And where's he born? Classified. Makes sense, right? Cobra. A lot of the Cobras are classified. $82.90 plus shipping for those two. And they did go to a viewer. Been a viewer for over a year now. Enjoy the channels and even the Trash to Cash podcast. Just a lot. Lost a lot of respect right now. I'm kidding. Thank you. I appreciate that. Happy holidays to you and your family. Thank you, Jason. I do appreciate it. We're going to have another batch in a little bit, but this is going to come out. $145 profit. I think that's right. $1,308 bucks so far so we are doing pretty good up about 168 so far all right quick topic time here so i've got a message and i'm gonna read it to you in just a second from somebody who purchased something from me they actually purchased something a while back and they wrote a message and i mentioned it and then they wrote back again and mentioned it again so i want to take just a second to talk about it but first let's look at the numbers really quick so you know, I have over 1,100 items listed, sometimes over 1,200 items listed. I'm not concerned, as a lot of people are, with how many items you have listed. I'm much more concerned with how many have sold in the last 90 days. Much more important than how many items you have listed. But that's irrelevant at this point. Really what I want to talk about is how much inventory you have and how much value it has to you. We often don't think about it that way because we buy these things for you know 10 20 percent of what we're selling them for but there's quite a bit of value and this isn't even where all my stuff is obviously i've got stuff up there but i've got stuff inside as well matter of fact i keep some of the more valuable things inside a lot of times but there's a ton of inventory that most resellers have and every once in a while to some reseller out there it might be a very small percentage of us but something catastrophic happens and a lot of times most of the time we're not protected because we don't view ourselves like any other normal business. And it, let's face it, it's not a normal business, but it is a business. And I think we should think about it. And that's what I want to talk about. I'm going to show you the item that they bought and I'll read you their message. And then we're going to talk about it. So this is like a, an ammo case. It's an excellent shape. I don't have the number that it, well, maybe I do. Not that a lot of you care. M19A1. And this one sold. These have some value. You know, around 20 bucks or so. I think I sold mine on a best offer. I think $18.05 plus shipping on that one. Here's the message. My husband and I love watching your videos. He made a purchase a couple of weeks ago and told you of our house fire. After two months, things are finally moving forward. He is running his eBay business out of a storage unit now. Our eBay store is Baltic underscore Avenue underscore store. And our website is BuckeyesForThrifting.com. And they wanted to remind people out there that homeowners insurance does not cover business inventory unless you purchase a separate policy. Now, if you watch this show, you know I don't usually try to classify myself as an expert in anything. And I'm certainly not an expert in insurance. But this is something that is always in the back of my mind. You know, I take certain precautions around here. Usually my precautions are against theft. And I don't talk about them often, but I take a bunch of them to make sure that that doesn't happen. But there are some other issues as well. I take some precautions, which I have talked about before, against water damage in certain locations as well but i don't have a separate policy i don't insure this stuff nor do i insure the stuff inside and i'm starting to look at it and you can go on by the way i haven't done this i probably should have and look at the value the selling price of your inventory now that might not be what you paid for it but that's the selling price and for some people that's a big deal so i'm just going to ask the blanket question out there do you insure your inventory? Do you insure anything in your business at all li besides like liability policies or something like that if you have an LLC or something? You know, I don't know. I, I know that I don't insure this stuff. So I'm really asking out of curiosity sake more than anything, but it's not just this message. I've heard two stories this year alone of massive flood damage destroying quite a bit of inventory. You know, we've even seen YouTubers that have trouble with certain inventory problems, with certain, you know, Dave, NC Picker, I know has had issues down there. Dave, you know, NC Picker down there has had issues 
with hurricanes coming through and I've heard some other folks and we've even donated to a couple of them. So if you would just do me a favor and tell me in the comments below, do you insure your inventory at all? I'm just curious how many people out there do. And for a lot of folks, you know, there's not that much. It's not really worth going through all the process, but a lot of people out there sell high-end merchandise. You know, maybe you do. Oh my goodness here, Pepper's just gonna have to come in. <laughs> all right, y'all, I got a bunch of visitors in here. Bunch of visitors, no name, because visitors somebody said that she had to get the shipping done and I'm not even done filming the video. So I guess we'll be back in a moment with the rest of the video. You can piddle around all day. I ran out of shipping paper. This is the first time I've ever used Supply Hut shipping paper. So Charlie, here's your test. So far I'm liking it. The price was pretty good. It's not as big as the other roll, but that's okay too. Because the price is significantly under. I think two of these will do the trick. Plus they're a lot easier to pick up. Alright, there it is. So, we'll give me an update soon. But, supplyhut.com. Code Commonwealth, 5% off. So far I'm liking it. It is, it's a little bit bigger than I actually thought it was. I thought the roll was significantly smaller than the other roll I've been buying. But it's actually pretty darn close. The next two items are headed out to Debbie. Debbie, thank you. She says this is the first time she's purchased something and she's so excited and would like one of our stickers. So we're going to throw in two and a card and whatever else we throw in there. So she bought this Avon Lavender Sky, which I had to go inside and grab. And she bought this Scooby-Doo. I've been waiting to see which one's going to be the fastest seller. It looks like Scooby's in the lead. I was shocked. I thought for sure it would be Taz, and I was going to put some in that empty drawer over there, which everyone was selling the, the most, but thank you very much for that. Hey, and you know, I wanted to mention this. I had a baseball player many, many years ago, and I got a phone call the next day after a fire that I had heard about on the news, and it turned out it was that ball player's family, and his mother passed away, and I believe his grandmother, in that fire, and ever since I've been paranoid, and I have these everywhere and so i don't have them out in the new shed yet but that's what these are for i bought them the other day they're really expensive by the way really expensive for simple little fire alarms at uh, the big box stores so i'm like you know what i'm gonna go online and i got them for almost half the price so there you go i say all the time if you sell on ebay you might as well buy there too or a car your poshmark or wherever the heck you're doing it you know and support other resellers i made sure that wasn't going to be from somebody who was you know, a big giant store. It was just a mom and pop and we bought them from them. Hey, I've been doing a poor job. I've been promising myself I was going to get through this pile, but that pile keeps growing. Every day, my dad goes to the post office for me most days and he brings back two or three packages and I'm only opening like one. So let's get through one right here. This, uh oh, I forgot the names, Peter and Karen. By the way, thank you for the very nice message and for these very nice gifts. I really enjoyed reading about your life. 20 years i mean this guy's amazing life both of y'all are just amazing and have the family and here's where there's the ebay store right there see that and a bunch of pictures as well check it out how's that this is my favorite right there y'all how cool there's peter and karen right there you guys are amazing thank you this is really really cool i'm liking these a lot and we'll talk to the kids about these right here in australia and of course the population area is down here brisbane on down Sydney, all that Melbourne, Tasmania, Tass. See, there you go. Talk about Tass. Check out these. <laughs> these little pencil clingers. How cool is that? And these are all pencil toppers, I think. Isn't that what these are? Look at that. Pencil toppers. Some really cool ones. So thank you. I really like these. A little frozen pencil topper. I don't know what we'll do. I mean, we'll probably end up selling them at some point, but I'm going to let the kids pick. If they want some, he uh, did race cars for a while, mechanic, just crazy good stuff. This, of course, well, here we go. There you go. Do I have anything on there that I shouldn't be showing you? No. 10% of all sales are donated to Australian Cancer Research Foundation. Very awesome. Very cool. Now, this is sweet. So I have a few more bins in here than I used to have, and I'm going to add one more. And it needs one of these, so we are going to add it to see New South Wales right there. So thank you very much. And that one will be one of the few that we actually put in here. Not quite sure where yet. I know there's one bin that didn't have one. At least I thought there was. 
but it's here somewhere. I'm not sure where. Maybe I have it in. Oh, it's one of these bins right here, I think. So, at any rate, thank you all for that. We appreciate it. This is basically our international side over here. And then, and we have some that aren't, you know, Hawaii. But uh, this is more of our domestic side with, well, that's not really an exception, I suppose. Next item is something you, well, you may have seen me sell something similar before. These, I sell the New Wave ovens and I part them out. And I don't part out these pieces very often anymore but this actually came from a earlier model the thane what did they call it um i can't even remember flavor wave that's what they called it so this has been in the store for a while and i uh, almost took it out of the store a couple times i'm like yeah just leave it in there six dollars for shipping i was so hoping that the coke ornaments would sell before christmas but we got through about two thirds of them and now it's slowed way down and we might sell one or two more before christmas this one went to donna donna thank you that's a pretty iconic one. I like that. Things go better with Coke. That one sold for $9.95 plus shipping. And Donna, thank you very much for the kind words. Very kind words about my family and about American Bubble Boy, by the way. So that's really cool. They are super fast. She was impressed. So thanks so much. Now that I threw in those bubble bucks over there, you were talking about how super fast they were. So this isn't going to work, unfortunately, because... It's for your first order, having never ordered from them before. So, anyway, I'll throw it in anyways. <laughs> we'll throw in some stickers as well. Another lot going out. They're all sold separately, but the same person bought them. Reuben is the name. I don't think you're a viewer, but if you are, Reuben, thank you. And we got Quick Kick. He was born in L.A. And Cobra Elite Trooper. That one's pretty cool. And this one was like $49, I think. Uh, Rick Hondo, born in Wheaton, Wisconsin, and made your blood with no card. And they're not even all pieced together. These are. But uh, grand total there, $119 plus shipping, which is going to give us about a profit of $102. I think that's, yeah, that's probably about right. That actually may be slightly less, but anyway, close enough. $1,410 total dollars so that puts us up not quite 400 bucks yet so i went in to get the oval jogger that sold and somebody followed me out here i think it's because of those treats that marion gave me. and let me tell you sophie has not been super excited about this new puppy so we're trying to give her some special attention in here sophie's kind of become really attached to me as my wife takes care of this new dog which has been the case for a while, so I'm not going to open that up, but you probably saw us buy this at a sale not too long ago on the Commonwealth Picker channel. I think I paid $25 for it, sold for $70 plus shipping. By the way, one more thing about this. You know, this is the kind of thing I would not pick up unless it's already pre-packaged like this. It's just a lot of work. I'd pick it up, I just wouldn't pay that price for it. A lot of work, but it was already pre-packaged, so... Even if you're making, you know, not the best ROI on something, which we're making pretty good money, 25 into 70 on this. But even if you're not, you know, if it's already packaged up, ready for you to go, you know, all I got to do is tape down the sides and slap a sticker on it, and we're good to go. To me, that's definitely worth the time. Sold Snow Job from Vermont. Makes sense right there. Arctic Trooper, $22 plus shipping. It's about an $18 profit. Brings us to $14.28. Next item is something I constantly see people pass up, and I kind of get it, but you know what? Every once in a while, you can come across a lot and make some money. And that is these Thomas trains, these motorized ones. You know, you saw me pick up a whole ton of these, and I've sold them off slowly. They're not a ton of profit, but I paid a quarter a piece, for goodness sake. This one sold for 15 free shipping. It's going to go out in the, on a four-ounce rate. you got to test them, and that takes a little time. But, you know, that's a decent little profit right there you're probably making around eight dollars profit on that right there and there was a bunch of them next one i probably would not have bought on its own but i bought them with all of those and some other stuff some scooby stuff and a bunch in a bag that sold for 40 so i'm like i'll list it since we already paid for it and it sold for 10 bucks nascar glasses number eight dale earnhardt jr so 10 bucks but you know that's probably a eh, almost a four dollar profit all right, I got to read this. I didn't realize this is from a viewer, Nerdy Grandma. So this is, wow. Enjoy watching your content. I grew up in the pits 
at Winston Cup races. My grandfather worked for NASCAR. He just passed away, and I'm putting these with something from Dale and Ralph in his coffin. Thank you, Tara, nerdy grandma. So amazing. Thank you for that story, and uh, I guess I'm honored. Very cool. Thank you. Sold another Scooby right there, $11.95. Free shipping on that one. This one you might remember from that sale that I said was right down the street from me. Bunch of in-package shipping stuff. This is right on Fluger Reel. And I don't remember what we paid. We paid like $60 for a whole bunch of stuff. And this one right here sold for $40 plus shipping. So another G.I. Joe. This is a Bats. That's Battle Android Trooper, I think is what they are. And it's not even all together, but it does have the full card. This is kind of cool. Dangerous to everybody. They'll shoot bayonet and kick anything in sight. Cobra infantrymen don't like to be on the same battlefield with bats. When a Cobra unit is losing a battle, they will dispense bats into the midst of the firefight in order to evacuate the area. That's nuts. So don't go to battle with androids, apparently. That was a good one. I think it was $72.95 plus shipping. That puts us at $62 profit on that one. $14.90. This is a Blue Ridge Mama thrift store find. It is a Juicy Couture pink Scotty dog. And that one, I think she paid 50 cents for it. I think that's what she said. Sold for $19 plus shipping. Sold a Grunt Infantry Troopers, $18.95 plus shipping. And that brings, that's about a $15 profit-ish. $1,505 from $10.40. We sold a, another one of the E to, out of the Yukon bin here. E.T. logo pendants right there. Those are probably my one of my favorites of the necklaces. I like that. $6 plus shipping to Andrew and Jolene. Thank you all very much. Snoopy is definitely in the lead now. Sold another Snoopy. Taz is doing okay as well. And I think Marvin the Martian is bringing up the rear. So there's the third one today. Three more G.I. Joe figures are headed out of here. But I'm going to read the comment first. Because a lot of these G.I. Joes aren't selling to viewers. But this one did. I'd say maybe 10 to 15% to viewers. I figured I'd read this one first before I show you the figures here and give you the total. We're doing really well. I'm really happy and there's still a bunch left. This came from the Garden State Picker. Hello, Kevin. Love the channel and the Trash to Cash podcast. I recently found hundreds of Gen 1 Beast Wars and Japanese Transformers in a storage unit. That's, that's a home run to say the least. That's big money. So I'm using some funds to start... A collection through you that's really really cool thank you i appreciate it um thanks for all you give to us with knowledge and integrity well thank you again i appreciate that very very much merry christmas to you and to your family garden state picker i gotta go check that one out i gotta go see some of these early i've only ever found one gen one transformer one so i don't know i don't have much luck with them Hopefully I'll do better soon. So I think, by the way, we finally sold down where I can put all of these into one. And then we'll list. I think this is the G.I. Joe one. So we'll list the G.I. Joe one next. There you go. I like it. These are the three. That we bought Grunt right there. And let's see here. Laser Rifle Trooper Flash. From Lodi, California. It makes me want to break out in a Credence song. Oh, Lord, stuck in Lodi. And Ferdelaine. Is that how? Ferdelance? Y'all, I'm not from Louisiana. My grandma was, though. Speaking of Credence, cotton fields. At any rate, um, that's pretty cool. Gung Ho was one of my favorites. Remember the Marine Corps thing on the chest? Gotta love that. So those three total went for 106 and change plus shipping, which should be about an $89 profit, $15.94 total, almost to $1,600 from $1040. Every once in a while, I sell something that I've never seen before, and that means that Blue Ridge Mama bought it and listed it before I ever saw it. So I was searching around in here for these, which they would typically put in, be put in here with this type of item, and they weren't there. So I went upstairs. She says, I just bought them. I'm like, well... They just sold. <laughs> well, two of them did anyways. These two. Snoopy's, what is it, his cousin right there. Peanuts Wet and Wild. That's kind of cool, actually. Check that out. And that's, what's his name? Arizona's Spike. Spike? That's not right. I think, no, that might be right. He's decorating the cactus. I remember that for sure. 
and these sold pretty quick so she paid i'm trying to remember she paid for for so let's say she paid for for these they only sold for 10 plus shipping but it was one listing that's probably around a four dollar profit maybe a little bit more for four twenty five or four and a quarter each so um my guess is that this will be around the same so it's not a huge money maker but you know what this is the kind of thing that if they had like 30 of them she's like the sell through rate's pretty good and of course they sold very quickly so you know you make a quick buck on them and it's worth it but you know if they had 50 of them i, I would have told her to buy every single one one listing and just make four bucks at a time over and over now for you newbies out there that can be a trap if the sell through rate is not great on something like that you're usually going to get stuck with them because a lot of people see them out there and they buy them and then the market gets flooded but if the sell through rate is terrific on them don't be afraid to buy a bunch somebody's in here doing some packaging and told me that oh, i forgot something i'm like i would never forget this is a casualty this snoopy here of lady arbitrage and american arbitrage cross country trip somehow it got stranded here for sake of more space in the car so ten dollars plus shipping on that vintage snoopy hey y'all i am out here in the supply hut blue ridge mom is in there finishing up the shipping both of the kids now reagan wasn't feeling well now turner is definitely not feeling well <laughs> definitely not feeling well i can guarantee that anyway he's had a, a rough last couple of hours so you saw him earlier in this video but that is actually quite a while ago so anyway we are going to take care of some stuff in here really quick before i do want to mention my reseller genie one more time i'm going to bug you about it for those of you who have a system and whatever for your taxes you know if it works for you it works for you but if you don't i tell you what it is time to get one tax season's coming and then next year you can start off on a good foot i know that's always been a challenge for me and hope and paul over there my reseller genie are absolutely amazing i absolutely trust both of them and this product keeps getting better and better and better i think tons of resellers are using it now and even more are going to be using it in the future because it's designed by resellers for resellers go over there and check them out there's a link below you can check the i usually put a qr code up somewhere and then code commonwealth you can go use that and get 15 percent off i think it has to be all caps so at any rate just a reminder i'll try and do it one more time two more times before the beginning of the year also really quick look at the kindness of some of y'all brian klaus remember when i talked about buying some blue markers he's like hey i found some here and i'm like i'll buy them and nobody lets me buy them so brian thank you and then another pack came check this out i have them enough forever y'all are amazing Marsha, I tried to buy them from folks. I was able to buy some things in the Trash to Cash podcast Facebook group. We had a, a link where everybody could drop their stores, and I went shopping. I've bought quite a bit, and a bunch of it is still in there. But I thought I'd show you these really quickly because these are two sealed VHS. They're not high-dollar ones, but they are two movies that I really, really like. And, of course, this time of year, right? and i like the old stickers on them some people don't i really do like the old stickers on them and tyler i bought them off of you and your store so everybody go check out his store right there and well i guess that's not the store but you can find them on facebook and instagram and i'm sure you can find them over there so you have comments contact us on the selling platforms so there you go tyler thank you very very much although i don't think this is a supply hut box i don't know no, nope, doesn't look like it. There you go, Tyler. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Also got this. Check this out, y'all. How cool is this Vermont plate? I don't think we're going to put plates in here. I don't know what we're going to do, but I love the Vermont plates. One of my favorites. We have one in there. I'm going to put another one probably in there. I might have a wall back here that I use for them. We'll have to see right here maybe down here or maybe back here or maybe in there i don't know we'll see i don't think i'm going to put them on these bins we won't come in here too often so you won't be able to see them but i don't know we'll see maybe we'll put them somewhere and check this out this is that fundraiser that gary sinise foundation fundraiser that baldy pow did with all the folks who contributed to this particular calendar Let's see if i can find the page here 
There it is right there. Right there. And I was not invited. Apparently I am not a stud of reselling. So I was very offended. However, I did sponsor a page anyways. Paid for a sponsorship of one page. I can't remember which year, which month it was, but it's in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. There it is right there. Oh, it's Dante's page. There you go. Hey, he's even got my hat on. So we sponsored that one because it is for a great cause. And this is, it looks like Harry Tornado sponsored the whole thing. So that's very cool. And it is, like I said, a great cause. And I was actually, speaking of Harry Tornado, I actually bought something on a whatnot auction from him that I can actually make money on. People usually lose money, you know. <laughs> but I found a cool one. And uh, it's a single stitch America's Cup 1992. So that's really cool. I'm going to try to make money of a hairy tornado whatnot. Not too many people could say that, but I'm going to be able to. Turn off the camera and realize I did not thank Bruce and Lisa. Is that Lisa? So thank you all very, very much. And look, they even threw in a Tupperware <laughs> ruler. Before I forget, since Reagan's not feeling well, we have a couple of sales. That mug right there sold to Luann. And Michelle and John bought a We Get Things Moving sticker. So thank y'all. And let's see, there's a store name with that. Black Bear 825 You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you one more time for joining us. And I can't wait to see you next.